Hey guys, Mr. French here. If you watched my other video, you already know how to do cubes in two-point perspective from the outside, just like that, using the vanishing points. But what's what about if you wanted to be inside that cube? You know, you don't have to do it from the outside. You could be inside of it. You know, there could be doors and windows. That could be a building. You could be inside of a room. So I'll show you how you can make a giant cube and be inside of it using two-point perspective. It's a little bit tricky. But once you know the secret, it's easy. So here we are inside the cube there. That is actually a room. We've got the window, we've got a trash can over there, we've got the floorboards. So it's really easy. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so of course we want to remember our golden rules of two-point perspective, and that is the lines are either going straight up and down for the forms, or they're going to be going to one of these two vanishing points. And some people had trouble getting their lines going straight up and down with just using the ruler. They were doing a crooked. So, you know, if you do have a triangle, that's perfect because this thing has a right angle built right into it. If you just put it on the, either the top edge or the bottom edge and line it up exact, then voila, you know, it's definitely going straight up. That is perpendicular, 90 degree angle. That's what's happening right there. So if you have, have access to that, that's great. You know, you can just line up your ruler right next to it and uh, be sure that you got, you know, straight up and down lines. So for the back walls coming together, let's make that line where the back walls are coming together. We don't want to go on all the way up. I'd like to be able to see the ceiling in this room right here. So let's make it like right about here or so. And then maybe bringing it down about this far so we can get some of the floor as well. So that's where the walls are going to come together. Then all you got to do is connect the dots. If it's not straight up, it goes to a dot. So, you know, with this uh, edge right here, my ruler, notice, is actually not quite long enough to make it all the way across. And this is gonna be the bottom of my wall over there. So, is that a problem? No, it's not. Just slide it down, line it up, and continue. Or, you know, if you have a bigger straight edge, like an 18-inch ruler or a yardstick or something, you know, you could use that. But you just go ahead and connect your dot with the top edge, and uh, that's gonna define one of the walls there. So you got your spiral binding of your sketchbook there to watch out for it. Just take it all the way up as far as you can get it. So here's one of the walls right here. See, this is going back in perspective this way. That's not going to be our wall because we're inside of it. We're not looking at the outside. And if you're confused already, don't worry. When I go ahead and finish this up, everything will be crystal clear. So let me just do it on the other side uh, to get the other wall. So I'm going to bring this out, bottom edge, can't make it all the way, so just slide it down a little bit farther, keep it lined up evenly, is that even? There we go. Going in the same direction, all the way across. And then for the top, I'm going to show the other side. Let's line that up just so, there we go. Okay. So then that's going to be up there. Okay, so now you're thinking, what the heck is that? Well, what you do is you just get rid of these lines right here. And that is going to be showing you one of your walls right there. Okay, so this just disappears. You can see that's a wall in perspective right there. See, we can go ahead and make that a little bit darker right there so it shows up even better. And it's kind of... Kind of light right there, make this a little bit darker right here so it shows up a little bit better. Okay, and then we can erase this part right here. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. There it goes. Okay, and of course, you know, eventually you can get rid of your horizon line there too, but you know, there's your two walls in perspective. Okay, so uh, you know, let's say we wanted to put a painting on the wall or a window on the wall. How do we do it? Super easy. Remember, just go to your vanishing point for the top and the bottom, and then you go ahead and create the uh, sides by keeping it going straight up. So let's make it, oh, I don't know, how big do we want to make that? Let's go like right about here. All right, so then right in here, you know, we can have like a big wide window, it could be a short. You know, if you have a triangle, go ahead and use it to define that. So it's going straight up and down. Let's go ahead and try right over here. There, and we'll slide it over. And then maybe right here. So look at that. Now we've got, you know, a painting hanging on the wall there. This could be a window. You know, you can develop a frame inside there for the window frame or, or picture frame, whichever it is. 
Now, let's say that we wanted to get a cylinder in here. Maybe we got a trash can sitting up down here. Maybe, you know, we got a, a light shade, <clears throat> excuse me, a, uh, you know, the shade from a lamp or something. So you know, cylinders, they are also going to be using the laws of perspective here because, you know, when they're down low, you can see inside of them. When they're up high, you cannot. So let's figure out how we would do this. They're a little bit tricky, but once you get it, it's super easy to do. So let's just say we're going to do a, like a trash can down here. So we're going to go ahead and make it coming down this far. Let's make it about this wide right here. The first thing you actually do is make yourself a, uh, excuse me, make yourself a rectangle. So that's going to define the, the edges of it. Then you go ahead and slide the curves in there using perspective. So keep your right angles there. Make it going straight up and down and straight across just to make a rectangle at first. Okay. But of course, it's going to be rounded. We see, we're going to see an ellipse inside there, right? It's not going to be a circle. It'll be an ellipse because when you tilt the circle, that becomes an ellipse. So to figure out how much of a curve you've got, use your vanishing points. You know, the lower it is, the bigger the curve is. So from this corner, we go from, from this point to that corner, go down that way. And then from this corner over here, we're going to our other vanishing point. And that comes down this far right here. Okay, so where these things intersect, that's how far down this ellipse is going to curve. It's going to curve all the way down here. But you don't try to cram it into that little triangle right there because we know that it's symmetrical, that the middle right here is where it comes out the farthest. So, you know, just what you can do is you can use your ruler if you wanted to and just slide this over so you can see what's going on there. It's going to go no farther than right here. You know, find the middle of that cylinder and then that'll curve just this far. And of course, it's going to curve on top with the same kind of curve. So make it symmetrical. It's not a big curve because it's fairly close to your eye level. You know, the closer it is to your eye level, then the flatter it becomes. You know, if, you, if it's right on your eye level, you won't be able to see uh, a curve whatsoever. It'll be totally flat. Now, this one's further down. So this one is going to curve even more. Let's watch and see what happens when we go to the bottom down here. Where these lines intersect, it's going to be lower because, of course, the cylinder is lower. So line up this one. Voila, there we go. Okay, so see, this is like about twice as big there. So, you know, we know it's not going to curve inside there. It's going to curve you know, to this point level right here, you know, below there. See, we just scoot that over. You could use your ruler if you wanted to. But yeah, go ahead and just curve it down that far. And then you've got a cylinder sitting there in perspective. See, the lower it goes, the bigger the curve is. Alrighty. Super easy, super fun. You know, it could be up here, and then we would see inside of it. If it's up high, of course, remember, you're gonna it's gonna look like that. You know, and if it's super tall, where you know we don't see the top or the bottom inside, you know, it would look like that for the top. And then it also looked like this for the bottom, you know. So that will be the way you do it. So we got our wall over here. You know, you can put doors, you can put furniture in there, uh, whatever you'd like.